Hey guys, Eileen here. I'm sorry I haven't been around in a while and I know this is upside down for you, but I'll try to um, direct all the items in that way so that it's not upside down. But um, I have a haul for you and this is stuff I bought over the past few months because I haven't done a haul video in a while. Plus um, some stuff I got recently because my birthday was um, like last week or something. So uh, yeah, it was like a week ago. So I got a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. And um, I got these actually in Europe. These were the watercolor pencils I got in Europe. These are Karandi Ash. And um, I already used the black one just to try them out. And um, it's really fun. The other pe watercolor pencils I had, um, I did not really like very much. So I went ahead and got these. Um, then in... So this was in TJ Maxx. I got this DUI shop um, stamp. And here's how it looks. I'm not extremely impressed, but it wasn't very expensive, so it's not the end of the world. And it's a self-inking stamp. Um, I found these in Target, and I was going to use them on a layout. As you can see, I opened it, and I took some out. But then I realized they're very pokey and not good for a layout, and I originally got them to use on shadow boxes, so I'm going to stick to that plan and use them on a shadow box. But these are really cute, and they are selling them right now for, um, for pumpkins. But um, I think they're great for other projects. It's like these little metal cones. Um, got more of this for my little mini printer. Got this in Target. It was on clearance for $2.44. Washi tape. I thought it was cute. Um, and then when we were doing, or I was doing school shopping in Staples, I found a bunch of tapes that they had. Um, these are Scotch Expressions. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't I don't want to make it upside down for you, so uh, I keep messing up. So this is really cute. So I got that at Staples. Um, what else? I got more of these just because I love these. These are really great for watercolors. I got those on eBay and they were on a nice sale, so I went ahead and got them. And then I got this, or I mean actually on Amazon. And I got these on Amazon too. I got more of these just because... So these are the best white gel pens or white pens I've ever had. And I've tried a lot because I've been scrapbooking for um, like almost 12 years. For like 12 years I've been scrapbooking, yeah. So I've tried a lot of different white pens and these are the best. And I got these on Amazon. They shipped right from uh, Japan. And then since they were such good quality, I got the gold ones as well. Um, what else? I got this watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton hot press. So um, I went ahead and got it and it's already pre-cut for 8x10 so it's ready to frame and all sorts of stuff. So it's nice watercolor paper. And hot press just means it's going to be smooth surface. Um, you get like an example of that here. Cold press is going to be kind of rougher and then there's also rough which is um, super textured. Um, then on Amazon I also got this book. Urban and I just love this like his style and he has a lot of great tips and it's just such like a visual treat just to flip through the book and like look at all the stuff so um, I'm kind of flipping through the whole book if you guys want to get it. It's really, really great. I was not disappointed at all. It's just so awesome to look at, and he's got a lot of great tips and ideas and um, all sorts of advice, actually. So um, I'm very happy to add it to my art book collection. So anyways, that's pretty much how it looks, the whole thing. So, yep. Now, if anybody has any questions about any of the stuff that I've bought, let me know and I can do a more in-depth sort of look. I got this at Michael's. 
and this was these items were both 50% off when I got them so or this was 50% off and then I had a 50% off coupon and these are charcoal pencils and it's um, like a few different browns and a blacks and a white and I thought it would look really great on toned paper so it kind of goes together and I thought it would be fun to try the toned paper and I'm sorry, I'm going to go like really quick through all this stuff because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. So now let's see. I think I'm starting to get into more of the birthday stuff, but not yet. So I got this. These are the Shinhan, Shinhan uh, Professional Watercolors and they're from Korea and you get 30 colors and this was on Amazon. They have a great price on these. So I already took them out, but they were all laid out really nicely over here. Um, here they are actually. So you can see um, they're 7.5 milliliters, so they're not that big, but I did um, use up a lot of it. Some of the colors are almost gone. And what I did was I made this. I have this um, Tim Holtz palette that I, um, it's for inks. And I've had it all this time and I hadn't really used it. So I decided it would actually make a good watercolor palette. You can just squeeze the tubes into it. And I was like, um, I can't be the first person to come up with that idea. So I Googled it and sure enough, a couple of people had done this before and it seemed like it worked. So I was like, okay, well, it sounds like a good idea. So I went ahead and did it and it does work very well. Now I have all the colors and I might add something here, I don't know. So here are the colors. These are really actually good quality. Um, a lot of them are very light fast and um, you know just very pigmented, very bright and it's just so fun to have all these like colors. And then I decided since the tubes were big enough and I don't need to be like I don't need to have so much of it, I went ahead and made these two travel palettes and I made two because I can't find the third one because if you guys remember I had three of these um three of these little ice cube tray inserts but i can't find the third one so i just went ahead and made two and um they're both different so let me see this is the pink one and this is the green one i put um sponges in here so this is the green sponge one and this is the pink sponge one just so i can differentiate they have slightly different colors in them but i made sure they all had like a few browns, a few yellows, a few reds, blues, greens, and all that. So, um, and I'm gonna sell these two. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna sell them. I think maybe I'll either post another video about them here and sell them here or sell them on eBay or something, I don't know. So that's that, and that's gonna be really, Oh my god. All right, anyways. I got these Daniel Smith ones from Amazon to try out. And I got them when they were like at their lowest. So it was like 20 something and 20 something. So these are the Primatech colors. So these are genuine um, gemstone pigments. Um, so this is like rhodonite, jadeite, amethyst, um, Mayan blue, hematite, and piemontite. And then these are just um, the basic colors. And these are tiny little tubes. So you can see. Um, Daniel Smith is just such a good brand that I wanted to go ahead and try it. And then I got these on Amazon. These are little empty half pans um, to go ahead and put the Daniel Smith colors into it. So that was all on Amazon. And then on Amazon, I also got these. And I got, this one was like 15 and this one was like 17. And honestly, I got them, these are the Prima Confections. And I got the Classics, which has the basic colors like reds and blues and all that. And then the Decadent Pies, which has some metallics. Here are the metallics actually, it has the metallics. And then it has um, like the deeper, richer colors and like the browns and, and stuff you could use for skin tones. Um, so I went ahead and got them both. So that's one and that's the other. Um, 
So they were really good price on Amazon, at least when I was getting them. I don't know. Amazon's always changing. Oh my God. So this sticker is almost impossible to take off. I tried all the tips people had, like heating it and this and that, like nothing worked, but I did manage to pretty much get it off and I used a lot of Gooby Gone, um, or it's called Undo, so um, yeah. So here's the Classics one, and you can see it's a really nice palette, and these run usually like 20 something just for the palette, um, for the box, so for $15 it was like, you know, I was paying less for the box plus paint than I would for the box by itself. And I swatched out all the colors, and here they are. It, the box was actually really nice because in the middle row there's space to stick more colors. So I combined these two, which so that I have all the basic colors plus all the browns, and here they are. Um, and this is just a space I put a sponge in here so that they don't rattle around. Um, yeah, so now I have all these like fun colors plus like different browns and earth colors and skin colors. So it's a great travel palette. So this is my Prima palette. And, um, and it has this nice little holder here so you can kind of go like this. And... Um, yeah, it's actually pretty secure. Like, they don't fall out. If you bend the things in and then snap them in, they don't fall out, and you can just take them and paint. And the colors are really rich and vibrant, as you can see. Yeah. Really nice colors. And then for this one, I, I'm using it as my Tim Holtz palette. So these um, cheap ones that I bought on Amazon are smaller than the Prima ones. Um, and probably smaller in general just because they're cheaper made so they they didn't snap into the boxes You can see like the metal is above it So what I did was I used some double-sided tape and I just stuck them down so these are all the you know kind of Tim Holtz primary colors and then these are all the ones that I have that are Why did I say Tim Holtz? I mean Daniel Smith <laughs> Daniel Smith Primatech colors with the genuine um, with the genuine stones and then these ones in the middle are actually my Holbin watercolors that I'm by that I put in here and these are the ones that are rated with the highest life light fastness and the ones that were single pigment colors so it's black green um, burnt umber I think burnt sienna and white so I just kind of added them just to have the basic brown colors as well so I can paint because the Daniel Smith colors are really expensive so I didn't want to get the basic ones in Daniel Smith while I still had Holbin ones that I could use. So yeah, so now I have a little Daniel Smith palette as well. So I kind of went watercolor crazy for my birthday is what happened. And then, um, yeah, there's still more stuff. I'm telling you, I went really crazy. So I got two more Daniel Smith colors. This is the Amazonite Genuine and the Quinacridone Gold. And Daniel Smith is the only one that has the Quinacridone Gold as a single pigment. So I went ahead and got that. And they're actually in here already. Um, I added the gold here. And one of these is the Amazonite. So anyways, if you guys, like I said, if you want a review of anything, let me know. So this was from Dick Blick. I got it online. And Dick Blick was having an awesome, awesome sale. It was, if you purchase $35 worth, you get free shipping, plus 30% off of everything that's like regular priced. So these two, you couldn't take the 30% off, but everything else you could. So I got these two Prismacolor Cola Erase pencils. So I can kind of sketch with them and then erase and then paint over them. So I don't have to like erase them like before painting like I would a graphite pencil. So these were 30% off. And then I got this and this was 30% off. So it was really a great price. So this is a watercolor Strathmore um, journal. 
And I got this tool. Oops. This is a wipeout tool. Um, so it's got the um, like rubber tips. And this was also 30% off. And it's got different shaped rubber tips. And then I also got this hand glazed porcelain palette for watercolors. It's a really nice size and these the wells are angled and you have five colors because usually you would only use five colors and just kind of mix them together to keep the painting harmonious. So um, it's definitely, you know, a good amount of space. And um, actually with the 30% off, this was only three something for like a really nice heavy mixed porcelain plate. So um, that was a great deal. So all this, like the journal, which on Amazon is like 20 something dollars just for the journal. And then these are usually like, I don't know, $10 on Amazon. And this is like $7 on Amazon. And these pencils, you can't even buy separately on Amazon. And then these are super expensive. So for all this, I paid exactly $35 and like five cents or something. So um, that was a really good deal. So that was all from Dick Blick. So it was $35 and free shipping. Then I went shopping on Blitzy and um, I got these two um, color craft brush show colors and these are um, like watercolors basically that are sort of in powdered form. So this is the yellow ochre I think. So you kind of um, can either, you know, use it as a watercolor or you can like drop a little bit into wet watercolors or wet paper. So this is yellow ochre and I also got Prussian blue. Um, and you drop it in there and it kind of spreads and creates this really cool effect. And I wanted to try them before getting a whole huge set. So I went ahead and got these two. This was on Blitzy. And I finally got the Peerless watercolors. And I got an awesome deal. So like before when I made that palette, because I couldn't find the Peerless anywhere on sale, um, they weren't on Blitzy. And I checked on Blitzy. But um, this time they were on Blitzy. So they were like a really good deal. Plus I got $10 off because it was my first time purchasing anything there, plus free shipping. So I got a really good deal on these um, and this. So yay, I can finally make like a, another portable palette for myself so I'm super excited about that so this was on Blitzy so more watercolors <laughs> um what else what else what else oh so my favorite thing I think probably that I got for my birthday present and this is my favorite thing out of everything is and I'm already opening it for some reason <laughs> is this Windsor and Newton palette Ta-da! Two, two, two. Da 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 da. Um, yeah, so I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research and comparison shopping. And I was looking at Schminka and Rembrandt and all sorts of um stuff. And I got this on Amazon. They had it for $83 for like a brief moment. So I went ahead and snatched it up. So it was $83 for the palette and 24 Winsor New & Newton colors. And to a lot of people, Winsor & Newton is pretty much the best. So I went ahead and got it. And I still kind of want the Schminka, but I, I'm okay right now too. So, and I couldn't wait. I opened up a couple of them just to try them. Ah, oh, so pretty. And there's actually space. I can put two more here and like sideways I can fit 11 here. So I'm thinking I'm going to purchase like 13 more colors and just, you know, just stick it in here and smush it in and have a whole lot of colors to pick from. So let me see if I can find a piece of watercolor paper. I had a piece of watercolor paper here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. Oh well. Anyways, so here's a piece of regular paper. 
So I just want to show you how easy it is to pick up color. So I just kind of briefly wet the brush and look. And I don't know, people say like one thing they don't like about the Winsor Newton is the pans are really hard, which they are. The watercolors are super hard, but they pick up super, super easy. Look, ta-da, that's the indigo. Ah, it's like a color uh, orgasm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. So, 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 so awesome. I don't know. This is the pink. So anyways, I'm going to swatch them out and just drool over them. And if anybody wants to see what that looks like when I'm done, let me know and I will be sure to share it with you. Also, I'm going to make another video very soon showing all a couple of different C creative embellishment boxes that I got recently for my design team and a bunch of layouts and stuff that I made for them. So I have a bunch of layouts and um, creative embellishments, things to show you. So anyways, yeah, the color picks up super easy and they're all very light fast and just single pigmented mostly and just extremely good quality. And I'm, I'm so, so happy about these. So I think that's pretty much everything. I don't think I missed anything. I think that's pretty much everything that I've gotten recently. And um, and my daughter got me this soy candle for my birthday, which was very thoughtful of her. And I'm very happy that it's a soy candle because I'm kind of allergic to the other ones or something. So this one's really nice though. It's lavender. So that was super sweet. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my haul. Let me know if you guys want to see more of anything or reviews or comparisons or just my thoughts on any of the stuff I have. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.